Yeah, John, and the fire department is still investigating the cause of this fire, but they do say that an e-bike was involved and created much hassle for their members to be able to get those victims to safety. Now, those orange and red flames just came pouring out of the windows of this building that right behind me here on Avenue M just minutes before 630 this morning. Well, if you take a look, this property now left gutted. I want to get straight to some news copter 7 video that was overhead capturing those red flames as crews were on scene just trying to get this two alarm under control. At one point, we even saw firefighters pulling out that e-bike that John was just telling us about engulfed in flames from the ground level floor. Well, fire officials have not determined if this was the exact cause that caused an intense fire that had multiple members dousing water at hot spot areas. Now, this is the damage that was left behind. A local business, an apartment in disarray, blown out window, shattered glass, a sidewalk blanketed with debris, and the e-bike I mentioned earlier burned to a crisp. Now, four victims were taken to local hospitals, one of which is a man in critical condition right now who fire officials say had burns and some respiratory distress. I spoke with one person who lives just next door and tells me about those terrifying moments when that fire broke out. When I was in my room sleeping, my mom came, she told me to get out because she smelled fire. Then we see the, the house was fired and everything. Then we came downstairs and then there was a guy burning everything. Uh, the, the fire is still under investigation. Uh, we have not yet been able to conduct our physical exam. Uh, as mentioned before, we did recover a micromobility device at the base of the stairs, which is the area of origin uh, that was powered by a lithium ion battery. We're live back at the scene as multiple crews are still here. Now, Red Cross has been standing by providing assistance. Still unclear how many people might have been displaced. Now, while there's no loss of life, the FDNY tells us so far this year there's been one death caused by a lithium ion battery compared to 13 for the same time last year. Again, this fire remains under investigation, and we will continue to bring you the very latest details. We're in Midwood this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.